There's no right or wrong answer. We have a lot in common. What else have you noticed? Yes. I have noticed that people have aims and they want to get to their aims and goals. People want to get to their aims and goals. And are they doing that very slowly? No. No? no? <laughs> Interesting. What does that tell us about people? Yes? Lack of confidence. Lack of confidence, you notice. Yes. Thank you. Anybody else want to say anything? There is no right or wrong. Everybody is participating aggressively. <laughs> um, so in England, uh, where I come from, um, some facilitators will say to you, please speak with, from your point of view. They say, speak in the eye, i.e. what that means is speak from your own personal uh, point of view of how you see it, rather than, and it could be true, speaking for everybody. So, um, everybody is, uh, for example, running around frantically. May or may not be true, but what I am doing by saying everybody, I am including you, whether you like it or not. I've included you in my statement. And for some people, that isn't right because you're not giving them any agency. You're not giving them any choice. You've taken their choice by saying, everybody's running around, everyone's happy, everyone's sad, everyone, whatever. Whereas if you say, I feel, I experience that everyone is this, I feel that people are happy, I feel that I've noticed, I can see, I understand, then you take ownership of your own perspective rather than sort of blanketing, covering everybody. It's just a little thing that sometimes we have to be aware of because we don't want to speak on behalf of people and make them feel like they don't have a choice, because they do. We have to just be aware of sometimes language, and this is just something that I am aware of in England when working. It may not be appropriate here, it may not uh, of any value here, but it's certainly a value in England because someone would say, well, excuse me, you're speaking on behalf of me and I haven't given you that choice yet to say everybody was happy. When someone is clearly sad, when someone is clearly disturbed, I haven't included them, I've just assumed that everyone is fine. So just a little note about um, saying something. Okay, so back to the game. We've talked about some of the things, people are rushing, they're getting to their goals, confidence. Um, what else are we learning about this game? Anything else that you might want to say quickly? Yeah, getting to know each other. Getting to know each other? Yeah, I think there's a level of competition that I'm sensing. Uh, people are competing to get to a seat quickly yes. and not be in the middle. Yes, so, so there must be something for those who want to run and get to the seat quickly. There must be something that they, there must be something that's going on for them that is about, I don't want to be here and having to say something. And for some people, that's a problem. And we must acknowledge that if we're working in a community with people, because not everybody is the same. And so if we put somebody in this position who doesn't want to really be here, they may or may not be able to cope with the feelings and the thoughts that are going on inside their head. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, oh my god, everybody's looking at me. Oh, you know, they may feel all kinds of things. We don't know these people in the community, but if we're all, you're all looking at me, I'm confident I can take it, but for some others, to be here, this could be a reason why they're quickly trying to get to their aims and objectives, because they don't want to be here. For some, some people can't wait to be here. Yes, I'm here, right? I've got my power over everybody. Because there is something about power here and control. So only you know 
how your position might be. But if you're playing this game with others, just think about the dynamics that are happening during the game. So, we play the game, we get to know each other, we get to find out, we get to learn about things in common, which is great. And it's a nice, you know, starter, icebreaker, whatever the term is, it's a wonderful game to get everybody on the same page. So this is how the game can work, and this is how you use it and apply it. However, what if we had to go into some community, understand some issues or problems or concerns, what might that topic be from your point of view? Essentially, I'm looking for a topic, an issue. What might that be? Competition. Okay, yeah, let's have a few more. Competition might be the topic, the issue in the community that we're working in. What else might be the issue or the topic? We're in, in this place that we are working in, in the community. What's going on? What have we learned? What have we heard? What have we discovered in this place that we kind of feel, oh, we've got to look at that issue? What might we hear? So what other things? Confidence. Confidence. Could be about confidence. Yeah. Yeah, anything else? Um, I feel that like we have a situation where everybody may not be in the same situation we are talking about. Right. If we have a topic like the university lecturers are working towards the pay rise. Aha. Uh -huh. Our students does not concern them, mm -hmm. you know. So, so when we are all rising, it will mean that it does not concern them. The only way it concerns them is when we want to go as lecturers. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, what I'm trying to get to is what might be the topic or the issue that we could explore. So, in a way, we're putting putting away anyone who does uh, running, likes swimming, football, we're putting those kind of comments away for a moment and picking up something real that is, that is going on in our community. Mental health. Mental health. So now we have a topic that everyone knows about, everyone has some understanding about, so let's kind of try to unpack this topic a little bit better a little bit more. Let's get some more insight, let's get some more learning. So we'll put away the questions of anyone who likes running, swimming, da, 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 da. we'll put away all those questions. And the questions that we can only use now must relate to the topic of mental health. So we're gonna play the game, the same game, but you only have to say, or you must say something around mental health. That's what the statements, questions, are now going to be about. So when you're up here next, it's only about mental health, for example. So we're gonna use that as an example. So let's get the game going to see what it gives us, see what happens, see what generates. Anyone who has ever felt uh, <laughs> a question. I love questions. Questions are all about I need to understand, I need to get some clarity, I need to learn further. Okay, so in this case that we are talking about mental health, yes. if the person is giving to us, and then you don't tell that um, that situation, are you supposed to move on? Right. Very good question. So when someone says a statement, has anybody been football, or anybody wear jeans, or anybody? If you have done these things, then you get up and you move. If you haven't done these things, stay where you are. Do not get up. Do not move. If what the person is saying does not relate, connect, or identify with you, stay where you are. 
and that will deal with that. So, regarding mental health, I'm going to open up with the first question, and remember those chairs that are out of bounds. That's that seat. Uh, maybe take that seat, and that's clear. And there's no empty chairs. Good. Okay. So, regarding mental health, that's our topic. Um, anyone who has ever been stressed. <laughs> Doing that kind of behavior, 
always in denial, always hiding. Is that helping? No. So even if there's a game, a playful game, and we can't be truthful, then it's even more harder in the real world to be truthful. Because we're definitely not doing it out there. If we can't do it here, amongst us here, it's definitely not going to happen out there. So it, it's got to start somewhere. We've got to break that cycle somehow. We've got to challenge ourselves. We've got to find a way to just shift. Otherwise, every day is the same. I lie, I hide, I don't speak the truth, I do this. And that's just my life. No one really knows, but that's just me. And that's fine if you want to live that life. So I think psychologically, and I need help here from people who are really academics around psychology in my area, it can be damaging for us. So this game has got so many deeper levels to it. Only if we can begin to understand what's going on within the game. The game is just a game in a way, but underneath the game, there are some really important things going on. A statement was said, there was a bit of murmur, did, people didn't get up. If I did the game with the young people, and I said, uh, anybody had sex here, and no one got up, but there was lots of laughter and giggling, what does that tell me? I don't know if that's true or not for them, whether they've had sex or not, but what I do know, there's something going on with these young people about that statement. And so that tells us information. And as a practitioner working in the community with groups, we have to somehow use that, what's come up. We have to find a way to use this evidence. No one has got, no one got up because of stigma. No one got up because they were embarrassed or whatever. So that may be, maybe that's the work that we need to do. Maybe we need to kind of go, let's focus on this bit of work now. Stigma, lack of confidence, unable to be truthful, unable, whatever it is, why not stay and do a little bit of that work? Because that's real. We saw it all in us. So maybe that's the curriculum. Maybe that's the, the, the lessons that we can start to explore. Leave the other ones that you've got planned for a little bit, but you found something out in the here and now about stigma, about lack of whatever it is. Use that maybe as the lesson. Even if it's one lesson you're exploring this moment, that's got to be worthwhile. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's kind of how I might work. Realize that this group here are very, very confident in moving and articulation and very loud and proud and got some real movement skills. But when it comes to being truthful, talking about emotions, somehow I've noticed within the game there is something else going on. So I might just kind of go, leave the skills alone, leave the movement alone, leave all the confident stuff alone, but let's start to unpack the things that they may find challenging. It may just all be in my head. I might be making it up, but I can't make up what just happened. Has anybody ever been to psycho, uh, a psychiatric hospital? I can't make that up because the evidence was clear. No one got up. So that leads to stigma and da 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 da. And that's the, the avenue that I might begin to work on. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Um, so that game uh, is called Anyone Who. And it allows us to from my point of view, get everybody on the same page, get us all working together, get us all having fun, learning from each other, being confident, having a bit of a laugh, making it very competitive. We have to be careful sometimes of the competitive activities compared to the non-competitive activities because sometimes 
the competitive activities could just lead to other problems like conflict and name calling and fighting because it's a bit rough to be competitive, to be first, not be out. Um, and so the competitiveness could lead to some difficulties in a group. Whereas non-competitive games, people tend to just have a kind of a more of a nice freer time with them. So um, this is the first activity. Anyone who, someone stands in the middle, you start off with general kind of questions, general statements about life, about who we are as human beings. And then you've either got a topic that you want to use and explore, or you find the topic here in the space, like I've just found with the thing around stigma. I found that, I didn't plan it. I had no idea I was gonna deal with stigma, but it come up through the game. And so that's kind of how I tend to work when I'm working with communities. I tend to look at the activity, whatever activity it is, and, and, and ask myself, what can this give me? And for us here today, for me, it's given me this opportunity to start to look at things around stigma and lack of confidence and goals and all kinds of issues. My question to you, and I'm hoping that you can answer this, is can you see yourself using this activity in your own work? Yes. Because that's what I really want to hear. If there's people who may feel a little bit unconfident in terms of trying this out and using this, um, then please uh, talk to me, talk to any other person here that you felt is more confident, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you in some way. But it's a really lovely game to start off with. Um, it gets people moving, it gets people on the same level. Yes.